Hello everyone, and welcome to a new series on the channel. This is an Infliction Extended Cut. I recently picked this game up, uh, I think a couple weeks ago when there was a sale going on. But this is a game that was on PS4, but has now been upgraded to PS5, so I grabbed it while I could. Uh, it is a horror game, one that I've had my eye on for quite a while now. And I wanted to play it for the channel. So... Without further ado, we're going to start a new game, and we're going to get right into it. I'm hoping there's actually some scary bits in this. Let's hope. Let's see what we got. You have one unheard message. First unheard message. Hi, baby. I'm stuck at the gate and they won't let me through. When you get back home, can you look for my ticket? I must have left them behind. Have a good look around and let me know. Love you. See you soon. End of message. To delete this message, quick. Guessing we're driving back home. A full investigation has begun into this bizarre case. We'll update you as the story progresses. Objective: find the plane tickets. Can I grab this? Take with me. Oh, okay. All right, so let's get to find plane tickets. Whoa. Okay. Huh? Hmm. Okay. Can we sprint? Can crouch. Is there a uh, controls? So we got crouch, zoom, menu tab. It doesn't look like there's a sprint. Okay. Fair enough. See the crouch. Nope. Did we go around this way or Okay. Hello. Is this my house? Well... It's very slow to turn. Hang on. Oh, it's turned up all the way. Oh wow, okay. I didn't even notice that. Listen up. Whoa. We've got some news hot off the presses. Hang on, are the subtitles on? No, they're not. This station has received reports that the two lighthouse keepers from Oxford Point Island Lighthouse have vanished. The lighthouse keepers work in three month shifts. On the shift change, two more lighthouse keepers headed out to the small island to relieve them. Upon their arrival, they could not find the men anywhere. 
It looks like they were halfway through dinner when something interrupted them. There were no signs of a struggle, and all their belongings were still there, a including box. a journal kept by one of them. What is it? The journal states several wow. times that the nice island was talking skills. to them. The most common theory oh is that the men have suffered Chloe. from cabin fever and were perhaps accidentally this. washed out to sea. Other cases like I'm this have been reported Sally. on in the past, but have never <laughs> okay, been fully resolved. Okay. A full investigation has begun into this bizarre case. Will the thing that that guy's describing sounds eerily like um, the movie The Lighthouse. Okay, so we got chips. Okay, so those are definitely chocolate chip cookies it's called chips. Okay, so we found a collectible as well. What does that say? Can't read it. Yeah, what that guy was describing about two lighthouse keepers definitely sounds like uh, Look how the lighthouse. Our little girl is. I'm I'm not sure exactly what's going on here, but she can already draw better than I can. She takes after her daddy. Voice acting seems pretty good. This is a lower budget game, but it definitely doesn't look like it. The hell is that? That sounded horrible. Nothing in there? What about the bottom? Nope. Nothing, nothing. No. Hello? It's a big house. It's huge. Okay. We got a big couch, big TV. That is horrible. <laughs> Do you, Sarah Angel Adage, take Gary Ryan Pop to be your lawfully wedded husband? And to have him to hold from this day forward, for better? For worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do you part. I do. Nice, I think. <laughs> Can I turn on the TV? Public access. Cooking with Massimo. A welcome back to Cooking with Massimo. <laughs> have you ever come home from a work and found yourself stuck to what to have for dinner? Today, I've been asked to cook with ingredients you found around the house. No pancetta, okay? You get a trophy for watching this? This here. is fantastic. We have uh, minced meat. We have tomato sauce. We have mushrooms. <laughs> uh, we got the bread, too. <laughs> and a packet of pre-made pasta. Well, I'm so uh, that's exciting. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't be laughing at oh, this, but... Oh, look here. Almost forgot the garlic. Okay. Today, we're going to make some kind of rolled meat, uh, a meat log, if you will. <laughs> Let's start the cooking off of the meat. Lightly oil the pan. Okay. And set your stove to medium heat. Okay. Now, uh, with the meat, uh, you throw it in, slap it in here. Ooh. If you like, you can add some salt and the spices. But they gave me a nothing. I'm a surprise they even gave me a saucepan. You know what? I'm not cooking with this packet of pasta. It can go straight in the bin. 
the hell's going on? This meat's looking good right now. A time for the sugo. Okay. And some fungus. <laughs> Stir this around and let it sim. Now, let's see. Ah, that's right. Uh, while it simmers, we gotta prepare our bread. What do we want is a nice pocket. Okay. Ah. And now uh, we put uh, the meat inside. Oh, ma tu guarda, I forgot uh, the garlic. Oh well, uh, you get uh, the idea. Okay, let's assemble this masterpiece of culinary delight. Oh god. This guy's a horrible chef. The hell? Here we have it, a meter <laughs> all. Eat it all. I know eat it all. You eat it all. That was so weird. That was that was fantastic. That was definitely worth the watch. I got you a present. Behind the Black Veil 7. Just don't expect me to watch it with you. I know you love this horror stuff, but it gives me nightmares. Ghosts? Yuck. Rated R. It's 92 minutes long. <laughs> Is this supposed to be like the grudge? Kind of looks like it a little bit. Or maybe the ring? Who knows? What else they got? Oh man. You guys ever watched Visitors or Odyssey or Salute Bloodlust? Actually, that sounds kind of good. Oh, it's a vampire movie. What the hell happened to this one? Oh, God, is it a porno? I can't tell. <laughs> Carnival. Looks like Jared Little's Joker. Odyssey. What's this one? Dolly. Clearly it's supposed to be like Chucky. Pervasive, strong horror, violence, and gore. Language. There's a lot of details on these things that you can pick up. That's really cool. You can literally look at a lot of these. A pirate movie? I've asked ye land lovers. Hell House. There is actually a horror film called Hell House. That's actually pretty good. These are cool. I can pick up literally every single one of these. 13, your number is up. Nice. That's cool. Rock and roll. Okay. Now that we've watched Massimo prepare a meat to roll, I think we're ready to keep going. I was just enjoying that because I got a trophy for even just... Thought I heard something. I got a trophy just for watching him. I tried. Oh, no, no. Keep that on. Nope. Nope. Upstairs we go. Why would you keep that? Jesus. Hello? Hello? Is there a light in here? Ugh, useless. Absolutely useless. Hello? Why would you move it like that? What the hell is this? Whatever. You know what? I'm not gonna mess with that. hell was that? I'm in the baby's room. Look 
Come on. Nothing, huh? Web wipes. Anything in the toy chest? Oh, whoa! I can see my feet. I didn't even notice that. Ooh! Cuddles. Snug fit. Um. Like the dog. Whoa, what's going on with the star? Whoa! <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that. What an eerie looking bathroom. Alright, I didn't check the door over here. Bro, these noises are messing with my head. Like, the sound design is creepy ass. Ooh, got some clipping. That's not good. More clipping. Understandable. Understandable. It's okay. I'd rather have a game that's actually... It's still playable. If all I run across is like some clipping and some minor things like that, that's fine by me. The hell? Yo. Pleasant Falls security doors. Zero five one six. Hmm. I tried it. Three forty five AM. Who the hell is driving home at three forty five AM? Seriously. Oh, locked. Okay, so nothing's there. That thing's still going. Okay, the star's still freaking out. This guy's like dragging his feet while he walks. What is with the sound design, dude? It's creepy. Aha! Oh, okay. Maybe she's the one who's into horror films as well. And looks like death metal. Or hard rock. Let me in. Let me in's a good movie. Nothing, huh? Turn that off. I'm like walking all over. Ew. Hmm. Okay. That's a cool poster, actually. I like that one. Whatever that is, I think that's a death metal band. Oh, okay, here. I'm guessing it's 0516, right? Yeah, correct. Locked, huh? Alright. What's this? Oh. Use your imagination. Oh, I'm guessing this stuff is over there. There you go. Light. Ooh. What the hell is that? Okay. Got it. 
find the plane tickets. Okay, what now? The thing is unsettling. Can't use the mouse. Whoa. objective. Get the hell out of here. Whoa. Made. <laughs> wow. Close the door. My controller's vibrating like mad. Jesus. Nope. Too easy to do that. Close the damn door. Interesting. I'm stuck at the gate in the old place. It's not just the two of us anymore. See you soon. Oh my god, we're back up here? Find a way to vanquish the spirit. Okay. Shit. The sound design is messed up. I'm waiting for something to actively like pop out at me. Okay, can't go there again. The fire's still going. Nice. Lovely. Massimo, come back. <laughs> Save me. Whoa. Okay. Creepy. Jesus Christ. All right, well, we got a knife. Can't take it, but... What's that say? Oh, I thought I said... 
I thought I was going to say Chef Massimo. I'm like, why are we actively like listening to him? Listen up. We've got some news hot off the presses. Tragedy has struck Pleasant Fall. A woman was found murdered in her home. She was brutally stabbed over ten times. The victim's name was Sarah Papsen. Sarah managed to make a call to 911 before she succumbed to her injuries. The primary suspect of this brutal murder is believed to be her husband, Gary Pout. He was found deceased only mere blocks away, slumped over the steering wheel of his car after a fatal collision with a tree. The murder weapon was found in the car with him, leading investigators to speculate that he crashed his car while fleeing the scene of the crime. The couple had a daughter believed to be 19 years of age, but police have been unsuccessful in tracking her down. If anyone knows the location, please contact Pleasant Falls PD immediately. It is also believed that Sarah is a victim to domestic abuse. If you or someone you know is suffering from domestic abuse, get help before it's too late. Okay, thank you. Appreciate that. Where am I going? Hold on. Oh. Hello? Who is he? June 6, 1999. My hands are shaking as I write this. Maggie's gone. Michael's gone. And Gary's gone too. At least the man I love is. It's just me and the monster living inside Gary. And the beatings are getting worse and I'm running out of excuses. I'm so tired. The lady next door came over yesterday. She must have heard something. She urged me to call the police, but I just can't do it. I love Gary so much. He's never gotten over Michael leaving us. And he blames me. And maybe it is my fault. All he does is drink, locked in that basement day and night reading those weird books. He's so unhinged now. What do I do? can't abandon him. I know Gary's in there somewhere and I'll be right here when he surfaces again. Fuck, this is so hard. I have to stay strong for him. Any more? I don't think so. June's Sorry. Ooh. All right. Cool, I guess. Nice. I do not like that. Whoa! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Good God. Thank you for that. Very helpful. He said, I look in the mirror, I see only a husk. That's the mirror. Jesus. 
Jesus. What the hell is that? Okay. Can't go anywhere else. Oh. Ooh. Become one with reflection. So you go through the mirror. Wow. All right. Shit. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Am I going down? I'm going down. Don't see anything else up here? Yeah, going down. Creepy shit. Why you gotta move boxes like that, dude? Okay, we got a fire axe. Can I take that? Oh, uh, man. I wanna fight back. Wow, okay. Um Spells contained within this book are your pathway to power beyond your human ability to imagine. For once, uh, the intricacies of wielding such power, the book and the rights within will no longer be needed. Your body and soul will become a conduit for the darkness. Dark power and energy will be transferred through you into an object or focused on a task. You will give direction to those energies, their agent on this plane of existence. That does not mean this book should be taken lightly. Its contents are dangerous and should be, and should always be created with, uh, treated with respect. Colloquium. To commune with the dead, one must open their minds to the ghostly fields of the ethereal. The world of the specters and the world of flesh are separated to by a thin veil held only by faith in a false idol. Once you give yourself over, you will stand aside both worlds. This alone is not enough to speak with the specter. You'll simply be open to it. The rite of scripture will need to be performed before you can summon the specter to you. Be warned, death does not care for you or your aspirations. Performing such rituals is forbidden in most cultures for this reason. An earth lifetime is but a passing shadow in the face of eternity. Keep this in mind when you summon the dead. Ritual of Sacrifice. This ritual is often confused is often used in conjunction with other rituals to complete a rite. First, you will need to find a living creature. Any creature will do, but the larger the creature, the more effective the ritual. Face south and chant, Etheria me dedero, tole anim animam meum. Repeat these words for the remainder of the ritual drain the life from the creature into a res uh, receptacle until it has crossed over. Drink every last drop. This concludes the sacrifice. Yeah. Write a scripture, ritual of devotion. Write a passage. Angry spirits are born in violent death. To set the spirit free, you will need to perform a ritual. For this ritual, you will need to gather the following objects belonging to the angry spirit. Body of the deceased, any part of the remains, 
image of the deceased, clothing worn in the eyes of God, an object of ancestral significance. Once collected, cleanse the objects with fire and spread the ash over the site where they were slain. So we're going to need a part of the body, an image, clothing worn in the eyes of God. So I'm guessing that's probably going to be uh, something from the marriage. So part of the wedding gown and an object of ancestral significance. Whoa. Okay. Dear God. I can't see anything. <gasps> Go away. I can't do anything. Ooh! Nice. I feel like we kind of had to die there. I feel like we kind of did. I don't know. Where's he gonna put me? A woman was found murdered in her home. Stabbed over ten. Managed to make a call to nine one one. Had been victim to domestic abuse. Are we back in the same room? So we're stuck in like a loop. And this thing is angry as hell. Oh, oh shit, Jesus. Find some of her remains. Okay, so I definitely think we were supposed to die there. You know, I actually do like this. This is actually quite good. Especially for a lower budget game. It doesn't feel lower budget at all. Like, yeah, some of the graphics on some of the things are kind of, you know, stilted, I think is the right word. A bit, um, stiff, but I don't really care about that. The game itself, to me, is actually kind of solid. It's definitely creepy, that's for sure. They definitely got that down right. But since I know this is a shorter-ish game. I want to, like, get a couple of parts out of this. So I think I'm going to end the first part of this game right here. Simply because it seems like a good stopping point. Now we've, like, unearthed the beginning of the game, the beginning of the narrative, which is great. What does that say, actually? Maggie Pout Certificate. So Falls Elementary School. Cool. Um, I guess Maggie's the daughter. I'm guessing that's important. Okay, so we're going to end this part right here. Uh, really, really actually enjoying it so far. And I uh, hope everyone does enjoy this. This will be a series. I will beat the game on my channel, which is great. And um, yeah, I hope everyone likes it so far. And I hope everyone continues to watch it and enjoy it. So until then, I guess I'll see you guys next time.